In the same vein, protesters also stormed the Kaduna State House of Assembly, demanding that the government rescues the remaining 43 victims whose lives have been threatened by their abductors. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darufai filed in this report presented from our studios. <laughs> The protesters held various placards chanting songs from the Lugard Hall in Kaduna before proceeding to the state assembly barricading the road to the gate. Some of the families of the victims expressed their displeasure at the inability of the government to protect the lives and properties of the citizens. They expressed their disappointment at the manner in which the government is handling the situation and that despite huge resources it claims it has invested in security, Nigerians still cannot sleep with their eyes closed. We're here to register our protest, our plea to the government of the nation, and in particular President General Muhammad Buhari and our governor, um, Aaron Malam Nasser Ebufai, our loved ones have been in captivity for the past 120 days and um, nothing has been heard in terms of their release. Though we've had other things skeletally been done behind, but unfortunately it's not using the, um, yielding the desired um, result. Um, and, it, and it's obvious, and it's obvious from the videos released about two days ago what the captives, um, the kidnappers have said. They said um, they don't want the government to come and discuss with them that the government has failed them, that we as individuals should come and um, rescue our, 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 our loved ones. How do we go to rescue our loved ones when our government has failed us? How do we go into, the, into, the, in, in, into where we don't know to go and rescue our loved ones? That's why we are out today to call on the government to do the needful. They also called on the federal government to redouble its efforts at rescuing the remaining victims on her. I'm calling on behalf of the people in the in the bush forest for the past 121 days now. They have been beaten up in the bush. Please, we are calling on the government of Nigeria to please help us to bring them out peacefully. Because this one that they are doing to them is not proper. The bit they are beating them as if they are beating goats is not proper. They should please, if their family is there, they could have no one to do now. But since we are, we know that they don't have family there, they should please help us to bring out our loved ones. These family members are hopeful that their cry would spur the government into action so that those who are still in captivity, including an 85-year-old grandmother, will be delivered soon. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.